r slash ask reddit what's the strangest punishment your parents ever gave you my parents said i was playing too much skyrim when it came out so they took the router with them to work every day good thing you don't need internet to play an offline single player game lmao my parents definitely did not understand technology and they'd do stuff like this but even less effective like they'd turn the screen off and assume that meant the entire machine was shut down and everything was lost or like everything was plugged into a power strip so they'd take the power strip away but all the plugs and outlets were still right there so one time my mom kept holding the off button down but I was sitting there on the screen with the mouse and keyboard and a window would pop up asking whether I actually wanted to turn the computer off. So I just kept clicking no. Leave the computer on. She could not for the life of her understand why it didn't work. Our family got DSL but we still kept two phone lines because my dad worked from home a lot. His work would page him. He'd pick up the second line in his office. My bedroom used to be a big family room. But my parents divided it and let me have one half for my own space and the other half was my dad's office so I still had both phone connections in my room. My parents got mad over some stupid shit. I think I skipped a class I didn't have to go to work wise. So my mom got mad. So my dad disabled my PC's access to the DSL router. So my boyfriend was at college and he mailed me a card. Inside was a free shitty dial up cd so i would use the second line after my dad started making dinner if he heard his pager i'd pull my cord till he was off the phone and it worked beautifully for about five weeks my dad caught me when he noticed the line was lit one day when he was quicker than i was the hilarious part is i told them they forced me to lie to them because i had homework and i wasn't allowed to go to the library so how could i study for my ap tests and write papers so I got my DSL back, I didn't get in much trouble because graduation was just weeks away, and every time my mom tried to punish me I told her I would cancel my birthday trip home at college if she didn't start calming down, and since my brother moved out the year ahead, then me, then my sister two years later, she panicked and realized she was very quickly losing all control so she stopped throwing her weight around where I was concerned. For some reason my parents allowed my brother and I to have a very basic bow and arrow which we were allowed to shoot at a cardboard box in the backyard. I, being very young and very dumb, crawled into the box while my brother was firing. Parents were not pleased and to demonstrate how dangerous what I had done was. They made me lay on the couch for the whole day and pretend I was in a hospital bed. I mean if you were an active kid and weren't allowed to move or play with toys. Boring TV and bland food. I can see that as a punishment. Still weird though. This really just describes what I did today. If you had no TV then I could see it but he was on the couch. So unless the family vacated the room just to perform this strange punishment. Then I doubt it. LOL that's actually pretty hilarious. I hated time out as a kid so that was probably actually a pretty effective punishment. When I was 10. Mum would take my NES games for a week. When I was 13. Mum would take my SNES games for a week. When I was 16, mum would take my blank floppy disks for a week. I didn't explain the mistake to her until I moved out. All I can imagine is just a drawer full of floppy disks with names on them which are all blank and an old cardboard box of numbered floppy disks with stuff on them. I would have written Nintendos on the floppy disks so she continued to believe those were the actual game cartridges. I had to fill cut open tennis balls with pennies. I'm still not sure what that was about. I was innocent BTW. I can't help but think this has something to do with some weird ass illegal activity cause I have no other explanation for this. My father said it was a punishment that his father had made him do once upon a time. We had a large bottle, a 10 gallon jug, full of loose change. He made me dump it out, gather the pennies, and fill up some tennis balls. It wasn't a bad punishment. Just odd. I preferred it over any other punishment I could have been handed. It's just so oddly specific Lomeo. At least he wasn't beating you with the tennis balls I guess. You know how heavy a tennis ball filled with pennies is? You just can't throw that. Granted, he used to be one hell of a baseball player in college. He probably could have thrown it. Me and my sister were fighting after I tried to steal some of her chili fries and she stabbed me with a fork. Dad took us out back and tied us up face to face with a rope. 
Told us when you figure out how to work together you will be able to get out. Did you work together and get out? After we stopped spitting on each other, yes. Are you too? In fact, llamas? I would get grounded to the front porch because when I was grounded in my room I would entertain myself with literally anything. Even lint from the carpet. So my dad finally had enough and made me sit on the front porch and I wasn't allowed to talk to anyone except to say that I am grounded and can't talk. Random stranger walks by. Hi, I'm grounded. My dad said I can't talk to you. Hi grounded, I'm dad. Rips off mask. This was a test son. I'm proud of you. If I cursed, my mom would make me go into the bathroom and say every curse I knew while looking in the mirror so I could see how ugly I made myself look while cursing. Well, I learned that if I wanted to curse with impunity all I had to do was say ass and get sent to the bathroom where I could say any curse I could think of, a punishment free, for as long as I wanted, lol. Accidentally taught you venting coping skills, neat. If I misbehaved in a car, my mom would lower the window and say that a bird would fly in if I'd continue to misbehave. Were you afraid of birds? Or just the thought of getting a bird smacked into your face at terminal velocity? Was the car free falling into a bottomless void? Of course. Why? Do you drive differently? I was not allowed to read unless it was specifically for school. My teachers stopped letting me bring books to class because I would finish my work early and read. I got the answers right and I wasn't causing trouble, so I still don't get why. I got in trouble for practicing cursive writing after my assignments were done. One of my deskmates said it bothered her, so I wasn't allowed. Still salty about that. I'll take how to get a child to hate school and become disinterested in general for 500 Alex. Why punish a child for practicing something like this? My second grade teacher got angry with me for reading ahead in the children's book we all had to read. She poked her finger against my chest and told me even if I finished it they would just get me another book to read. In what insane world is it a punishment? When I was little, my mom's go to punishment was to make me kneel on uncooked rice for about 15 minutes. Had to keep her straight back or else the time was increased. She did this because that was how her mom punished her and her brother. She eventually stopped using this punishment after she set some clear boundaries with my very controlling grandmother. She never felt right making me do it. My little sister never had to go through it. I kind of resented that for a while. But eventually was grateful she didn't experience it. Filipino family, or Southeast Asian, fairly common old school punishment back in the days of my parents and their parents, etc. There's also squatting, hands extended with books balanced on top, standing in a corner with books balanced on your head, these being common school punishments. Withheld dinner and I was only allowed to have bread and butter, my mother is a terrible cook so I was super okay with this. My stepsister was denied dinner once because my dad decided the whole family was going to share this giant nacho plate and that was our only option for dinner. My stepsister and I were close so later I made and snuggled her a PB&J sandwich. Later that evening everyone but her, stepsister, was violently ill from the nachos. I made and snuggled her a PB&J sandwich. Truly, a sandwich made with tender love and care. My parents routinely took away my library card when I did something worth punishing, so I memorized it. When they caught on they refused to go to the library with me for the duration of my punishment. So I started volunteering at the library once a week so they had to take me. Steady on, Hermione. Improvise. Adapt. Overcome. I was always more the artist type. Didn't much care for throwing the football around or working on cars. I wasn't belittled or anything. My family let me do me, but my stepfather was an evil genius and when I did something that was considered a minor infraction he'd give me the option of either going to bed early or staying up till my normal bedtime but having to watch sports with him in the living room. And I couldn't just zone out or read, he'd sit there and make chit chat about the game or try explaining the rules or the player's stats or something else I couldn't have cared less about. I'm 34 and we still laugh about that sometimes. Shit was brutal. To be fair your stepdad probably wanted to spend time with you doing something he liked as well. If my son ends up not liking sports not gonna lie it would be really sad for me. Yeah I will accept whatever he likes but right now I do have hope of watching sports with him and getting happy exited etc when something happens. 
If your son doesn't like sports, you can come to my rec league hockey games and I'll pretend you're my dad. Sometimes guys wives girlfriends come, and if I score a goal, you can lean over and say that's my son and I'll point at you. Which will confuse them because we're probably around the same age. Dad made me splice together his old 8mm vacation films into a vine style highlight reel after I hurt his feelings by refusing to see Chef with him. Why did you refuse to watch it with him and have you watched it with him since then? What did you think about his vacation films? Forced to smell dog breath. Because if we have to deal with the filth from your mouth, then you have to deal with the filth from its mouth. I got this on numerous occasions. It sounds silly at first, but it was anything but at the time. I begged them to give me anything but that. Like for swearing? No punishment. And that in itself was punishment. I totally bombed during my first semester in college. I took 16 credits and ended up with a 0.77 GPA for the semester. Yes, less than 1.0. My parents were disappointed, but told me that they knew I could do better, and they knew I would do better. They forgave me and basically said okay, so you screwed up, now make it better and make us proud. The fact that they were not upset really weighed on me, it really put a ton of guilt and shame upon me, even though they didn't put those things on me, I did it to myself. It really motivated me to not dong around any longer in college. I buckled down and really succeeded. I failed my first semester of college. I lived in the dorms. I obviously had to move back home. Like most teenagers I was scared of my old man. If I was misbehaving all my mom had to say was wait till your father gets home and the fear of God would be put into me. I thought he was going to yell, scream and or curse at me. He didn't do any of that when I came home he just looked at me and said you basically blew an almost free ride to college I'm disappointed in you man that ducking hurt. I was being a dong as a teen, I think I was 15, and tormenting my little brother by grossing him out. Stuff like burping in his face when he didn't expect it, making him smell my feet, etc. And he really hated it. It made me laugh and I called him a kitten for being grossed out so easily. After he came to her crying one day about it, my mom warned me that if I didn't stop, I'd be very sorry. I didn't listen. Worst mistake of my childhood. My mom ran a small doggy daycare pet grooming business. The next time I did this to my brother, she put me to work cleaning filthy dog kennels, without gloves, and without a scooper. Worse, she introduced me to what dog anal glands are, which groomers often have to express. Around 3 times a day that week, I had to express dog anal glands. I was not allowed to wear gloves, I puked, every, single, time. She planned on the punishment lasting all week. But my bro asked her to let me off the hook after he saw how defeated and broken I looked by Wednesday. Why do so many of these comments involve animal fluids? There should only be so many. A little brother. I still don't know what I did wrong. You're such a disappointment they wanted a fresh start. Can we have a refund on this? No. But we can offer you a new model. Free of charge and you can keep the old one. That's the least you can do. They were mad I was playing too many video games, Civilization, Master of Orion 2, World of Warcraft I, Final Fantasy I, 2, 3, Tactics, Ogre Battle, Urk 1 Masters, ok, so I played lots of games, so they made me go out with friends more, now keep in mind, I did have friends and was social and would go out once or twice a week with them. But any video games were bad, so my parents forced me to go hang out in my buddy's garage where they just drank and smoked up at 13 years old. A couple of them ended up getting into some serious drugs by around 16, and my parents still were forcing me to go hang out with them, because their parents were good people that will sort him out. Well, they never did. I always thought it was funny that they considered cerebral strategy games more damaging to my development than hanging out with 13 16 year old drunks. That's freaking stupid. I actually give credit to video games for me not getting into so much trouble as a teenager. My old friends from elementary school weren't as into video games as I was so by middle and high school we had drifted apart. They got into trouble with cops on a regular basis. World of Warcraft. Which was mainly what I played at the time. Only kept me from sometimes not getting my homework done. One time when I was super young, 
I didn't eat all of the food on my plate my dad told me I was gonna eat it or wear it. I was full and I said I'm not gonna eat it. Then my dad slammed my head into my plate of food. Death was a very strange punishment. Started off odd. Got violent fast. I though he was going to make you put the food in your pockets or something. Damn. I was deathly afraid of my basement. And the threat from not adhering to lights out time was being forced to sleep in the basements for the night. Anyway. I forget what I was doing but I was up to no good one night. Probably reading comic books with a flashlight or something. I got sent to sleep in the basement and was pretty much up all night being super scared. It was threatened a lot but I think it only actually happened once. I was the smartest kid. My aunt tried once to threaten me that the boogeyman will take me to the basement if I don't behave and eat me her. Can you hear him roar my four year smart mouth? Auntie, you know better. That's the boiler she said I was super condescending and that made her quit then one day she broke a wooden spoon whipping my ass and I still tense up hearing the drawl clang open to this day. My parents made me join my school's cross country team because I quit the football team. They also made me join the basketball team and the debate team. I think they had like 3 ideas for punishment and just did all of them. They just wanted you out of the house. My mom always told me I would end up in prison. As punishment, she would make me sit in time out under an office desk with a slat back chair turned upside down on top so the back covered the opening like bars. Come dinner time she fed me hard rolls and water because that's what they serve in prison. I found out years later, while not good food, prison food is much better than hard rolls and water. So she was right all along? Chicken or the egg situation? Can you tell a 7 year old is destined for prison? Orders telling them that's where they will end up nudge them in that direction? One time I forged my mom's signature on a school discipline warning thing. She made me write my own signature 500 times so I wouldn't write the wrong name again. My brother was caught shoplifting a kid. This makes me sad. When one of you would do something bad as kids, my mom would ground us all if we didn't fess up. I was a good kid who was deathly afraid of getting in trouble, so it was pretty much never my fault. My mom pretty openly hated having kids so it was probably just her way of getting us all to leave her alone lol. When I was preparing for high school I sucked at writing, particularly long response essay questions. To mediate this my dad spent a week having me write a different essay every day of the most simple and mundane tasks. The one that really sticks out in my mind was the first one. How to put a football away. By doing this, though it seemed inhumane at the time, I learned how to expand a simple thought into highly descriptive details and became a great writer throughout the rest of my school career. My parents had an advertisement agency. They would also do preprint work. I don't know the English term for it but they would do photo editing and magazine editing, ebooks for high schools and such. I was at 5th grade. I found out they were doing the color and photo editing for a Turkish porno magazine called Sikata, Chikata, and took it to school and monetized it. NBA collector cards, countless chocolate bars, magic the gathering cards, soccer cards were my main currency, I was the king among men. Then a dun tried to get his cards back and threatened me to tell the headmaster. I tore one of his cards and said if you tell them I will miss the others too. He told on me, the ducker didn't see my bluff. I mean I cut the cards just in spite. My punishment was to start working for my parents company after school for 2 hours every day. I learned photoshop, coral, scanning old school photo films, learned the printing machine and such. I got good so they made me work until 7th grade, until they divorced and sold the company. Their divorce was the best thing happened. I got grounded a lot. That's not weird. But my mom refused to call it a grounding. She'd just give me a bunch of individual punishments that added up to a grounding. Can't leave the house. Can't hang out with friends. Can't play with most of my toys. But if I told someone I was grounded she got upset. I think maybe the distinction she had in her head was that I was allowed to leave my room and talk to my family members. Instead of being kept in my bedroom like her parents version of grounding. Sent me to their room. My room had a full size color TV with cable video games, and all my stuff. Their room had a bed and a tiny, black and white, TV with an antenna that only got one channel in well. Most boring night ever. Was grounded so much in my life, 
I would say 3 stroke 5 of my first 16 years were grounded. Neighbor convinced my mom to take me to family counseling. When I sat down with him he asked what my main complaint with him was. I said all of the grounding. So he came up with a list of rules. And if I break them, I get kicked out instead of being kept in. But not kicked out to go hang with my friends. So, they put a tent up in the backyard. And when I broke a rule, I was banished to the tent for a predetermined amount of time. This didn't end up working out, because breaking curfew was 12 hours out in the tent. So I would start breaking curfew on purpose, go out to the tent, wait for my parent to go to sleep, and sneak out of the tent and go hang with my friends all night, until the night I came home to a dead patch of grass where the tent had been, and I had to sleep the night on the patio. I woke up to my next door neighbor staring at me through the fence shaking his head. Safe to say, my parents went back to grounding me after that. Side note, the counselor we went to was later arrested for molesting children. Wasn't allowed to go trick or treating that year because I didn't lie to my babysitter about not having eaten breakfast that day. Couldn't pass this comment without saying how shameful that is. Kids should never be made to cover up the failings of fully grown adults. Sorry you had to go through this. Give me my dessert on top of the vegetables I didn't want to finish. The next time I made sure to finish my plate. Odd perhaps, but it worked. My mom would just make me eat them for breakfast the next morning if I didn't finish my vegetables that was the worst. I was super picky as a kid so I actually found mustard made it more bearable a lot of mustard. Didn't matter what it is it got slathered in mustard. I've probably eaten more mustard than any other human being. When I was 5 my dad had this threat he would always use that went like putting us under the stream or something. I can't put it right in English words. I didn't understand what that meant until one night I just couldn't fall asleep so I was there lying in bed and when he came to check up on us, shared room with my two sisters, and saw me awake he decided it was my fault and he had to punish me. So he dragged me to the bathroom and put my head under the running cold water tap until my hair was soaked, then sent me to bed like that. A while later when he had presumably fallen asleep my mom came. Having heard the entire thing happen because I was obviously shouting at him to stop, and dried my hair, cursing him up and down. To this day I still don't understand what his logic was and he laughs about it when I mention it. He always had it out for me during those years for some reason. And if you're wondering why my mom didn't stop him my guess would be during that time housewives just didn't really go against their husbands for whatever reason. I don't hold it against her though mow the lawn with one of those ancient lawn mowers. It sucked. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.